Oh, welcome to this channel IBM I classes uh, today in this video session uh, I'll be discussing about a new topic which is actually writing uh, records in the file in file which is defined in output mode in our RPG program so we have seen that uh, whenever we defined the file in output mode and we try to write the records in the output mode and once a record is get written to the file then then we check in our file and we found that there is no such records present in file so uh, where is actually the record is even the records get written to the file that side now once the program ends then we are able to see those records in our file but during the debug mode we are not able to see that then what is happening actually with this case so um, this topic will mainly deal with writing those records forcefully in the file which is defined in the output mode in RPG program um, so I'll be using one of the method uh, which is FEOD force end of data or you can say logical end of data uh, FEOD is a function you can say which is uh, um, provided by IBM and uh, this is very useful when you want to write the records forcefully after each write operation in your file which is present in disk so what happens actually is whenever uh, you define the file in output mode then IBM or uh, write IB, IBM software writes those uh, records in its output buffer so those records gets uh, returned to the output buffer and once your program ends with the star INLR indicator set to on then those records will get returned to your disk file so um, even even you will see that once that buffer gets full even your program did not get end with star ion lr set as on and your buffer gets uh, that output buffer gets full then you will uh, then those records will get written to the uh, disk and the records get clear from the output buffer the next set of records get written to the output buffer and then they will be uh, written to the disk file and this uh, goes on till star and LR not set to on so this is the case and I'll be using a few OD in this case for writing those records in the output mode file in RPG program forcefully so before uh, going into a few OD I'll be showing you the demo that what is actually happening So for that I have created one program uh, EGM4 now let's see this program uh, I have taken I have defined this file file 1 in output mode and just took a variable l underscore loop and I'm um, running the loop till 100 times and writing the records in ID name and address fields in file 1 so writing the record format of file 1 and incrementing the loop and after that at last I am setting the INLR as on now just compile this program Debug this program and uh, uh, we can set the breakpoint at line number one. Call this program. Now we are in debug mode. We can see that till now I have not written any record to the file. 
now just check whether there are any records present in file no there are no records in file now write operation executed for the first time now I'll see whether there are any records no there are no records pre present in the disk file now I want to delete those any numbers there's no row not found for delete but we can see that I have performed first write operation now this is the time for the second write operation so these records now let's see again whether there are any records there are no records present in the file so these records actually getting written to the output buffer right now so just set breakpoint at line number 18 when l underscore loop equals to or less than greater than 50 let's say equals to 52 take an F12 just check now this time the loop value is 52 we can see that the records get written till 51 so 51 is was the limit for that output buffer right now and uh, once that buffer gets full those records get written to the disk file which is defined in output mode in FS spec in our RPG program. Now for the 52nd, 52th operation I did performed 53th operation I did perform the right operation now I'll be seeing whether 52 and 53 records get written. No they were not written because the limit for that buffer uh, was 51. So 51 records get written once I'll be setting the point at this line one. Now we'll check whether those records get written or not. Till now the records are not get written because the buffer was not full right now. Once indicator INLR gets on, those records get written to the disk file. So this was the scenario actually. So we are seeing that the, the records first get written to the buffer, output buffer and then get written to the um, disk file, either one of the condition gets met, either a buffer gets full or a star NLR gets set to on. So these two conditions, when, once, once these two conditions gets met, the records get, gets written from output buffer to the disk file. So I'll be now I'll be writing it forcefully uh, to the disk uh, using FEOD four cent of data. So what I'll be doing here, I'll be using FEOD. We can use N for non-blocking, or it's totally depend upon us. Either we can use it or we don't. And then file name, file one. So, in case you have used uh, user open for this file, then you don't need to open it every time. You don't need to open that file every time or close that once or close that file every time because FUD doesn't seem to be closing a file. It's just uh, Forcefully writing that call to the uh, disk file from the output buffer. So just compile this program again. Now delete those records, those hundred records. 
Just check there are no records right now. Now debug the program again. Set the breakpoint at line number one and call the program. Now we can see that we have executed uh, write our file one and still uh, we don't have record in the disk file since the record gets written to the buffer. Now after that we have used FUOD for end of data logical end of data for and and pick now just check it again we can see that the record is present. So if we want to write the record forcefully, we need to use this one. FEOD. Just check it again. Be sure the records are present. Records are getting written after every write operation from the buffer to the um, disk file. So this is the method. Uh, which we can use to direct forcefully write the records from output buffer to the disk file at uh, every write operation. Um, let's see. We have 100 records in the file. This is all in this video. Um, thank you and have a nice time.